Hi everyone. Um, I've had a few uh, questions in about uh, stop cocks and gate valves, um, why they're different, and uh, one of the main things was uh, whereabouts they are. Um, seems a lot of you are having trouble getting your water off when you need to. Um, first of all, I'll show you the two types of valves. I mean, one is the humble stop cock here. Um, you've all got these somewhere or another. Usually, this location is under your kitchen sink, normally. Uh, it might be alongside it, but that's mainly where they have to be found. Um, the other type of valve is this, it's a, a gate valve. Um, and they call it a gate valve because it, a gate drops through there. If I turn that down there, you can see a gate coming through. Um, the reason that does that is because it, it needs to be a full flow of water through the valve. There mustn't be any stoppages. Um, and that's to make sure the pressure stays up on, on low pressure where this is normally fitted. All right, you don't normally find a gate valve on the mains. It's wrong if it is. Um, the reason you have a stopcock on the mains is because it uses a washer uh, with a seat like an ordinary kitchen tap to squeeze down onto the seating, uh, and that can be enough to shut that mains pressure down. Uh, you couldn't have a gate valve on there; it would still get by. All right, and that's why a stopcock is mains use only. Really, that's it. Okay. So I've been asked whereabouts do we find these now? As I say, stop cock, usually the kitchen sink underneath or alongside somewhere, or even behind a panel in the kitchen. It depends. Sometimes you'll find a little hatch with a hole in it, uh, and it could be in there. All right, what about the gate valve? Now, the gate valve, normally in the airing cupboard, I'll show you mine where they are now. Well, there's mine, uh, and you can see I've got three in my airing cupboard. This is usually where you'll find your gate valve. Okay, now I've got three in there. This is quite an older house, and the 15mm one, the small one up the top there, um, you won't normally find in today's type of because that shuts the boiler feed off to the central heating uh, and is not normally anywhere on today's newer systems. The other two, one shuts the cold feed to the bathroom off and the other one shuts the hot water off. Uh, all you've got to do is follow the pipes down to the tank and see if it goes into the tank and you'll see which one is which. So. And what I'm going to do really now, I think, is, is to show you that on a drawing now, exactly how that works. You will have to excuse my absolute awful drawing, sorry about it. Well, here we are, this is our kitchen sink unit anyway, or supposed to look like one. <laughs> um, and the main stop clock is usually here, okay, uh, under the sink unit, and um, it, it feeds across and goes up to our roof tank like so. And um, what also it does, it tees off and it will feed any other appliances upstairs, the bath, the basin, um, WC, shower if you have one. Um, it'll all be on the main, so it's a fairly simple, shut that off and everything goes off. And you can even uh, drain the roof tank if you wanted to, uh, to do a hot tap or anything. But by far the best thing to do is find a gate valve which will be in the air and cupboard, or it could be by the roof tank in the loft and you can see how it works here the feed just drops down into the bottom of the tank the hot water tank out the top and around to the bath basin and down to the kitchen this one i call uh, a cold feed system again there's our kitchen sink and the stop cocks usually behind there um, it may be in a corner near the sink and it can also be behind a little duct panel sometimes with a little round cut out um, so sometimes it can be there uh, in this instance our, our cold feed goes straight up to the roof tank uh, with no deviation unless you've teed off somewhere for an electric shower if you've got an electric shower in your bathroom uh, it could be teed off into that because they've got to have mains pressure so when you turn your main stop clock off that's all it does it will not turn off any of these taps in the bathroom. Now, the reason is the, the bathroom has got a cold feed in this instance. Now, if you look at our roof tank here, if you drop down here, there's a gate valve there. And that'd be one of the gate valves that I've just shown you in my airing cupboard. And that goes down, usually under the floor, and pops up on a cold feed to your bath basin and toilet system. So, to shut the cold water off in the bathroom, you need to shut this gate valve off. And again, with the hot one, as of before on the other drawing, and um, what I've showed you in my air and cover, there's our other gate valve. And this one goes into the bottom of the cylinder, the water comes out the top, runs around and back to our bath basin, down to our kitchen sink. So that one shuts the hot water off to all of those. 
Now there is a simple way if you don't want to bother doing all the noise, but you can suffer the problem of airlocks, which is to shut the mains off and just drain it out by running a tap until it stops. And if one of the gate valves doesn't work, then you will be forced to do that anyway. And don't forget, if there's not any in your airing cupboard, they may well be up here by the tank. They might be just underneath the tank or outside of it. It's usually, they usually the pipes come out the side. Very rare they come from the bottom. Uh, so you may have your gate valves here if there's none in the air and cupboard. They're usually behind a bunch of towels, believe me. <laughs> I found them all there in time. Uh, so that's basically where to find them. Right, so that's just a little quickie from me uh, in answer to some of your questions. Where the hell do I found the war off? <laughs> where are the valves? There you are. All right, well, thanks very much for watching. Uh, all my videos, you know where to go, Derrickton33.com. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.